Hi, this is example number four of section 15.3. So, um, the free rolling ramp has a mass of 40 kilograms, and the, the, there is a crate right here, which is 10 kilograms. And the crate is resting at A, and it will go down 3.5 meters to B, down the ramp A. And, um, and we will assume that the ramp is smooth, and the, also the wheels with the floor are also smooth. So we don't have friction in the, friction in the problem at all. And we are asked to find the speed of the ramp, this triangle here, when the crate here, that box, reaches point B. So if we want to draw what is happening right here, so we have the same floor. So this moves down while the ramp moves, moves backwards. So I, here I have the box at point B. This is, will be point B. This is point A. And uh, if we want to draw the free body diagram to see what forces do we have, we have two normal forces, let's call this N1 and N2, and we have the weight of the crate, and we have the weight let me put it, the weight of the ramp, you know, it will be a little bit more to this heavy side. I don't have to calculate what it is because I'm not taking moment, but I will put it, it will be around here, weight of the ramp. So let's call this ramp and let's call this crate. Okay, so this is going in this direction, velocity of the ramp, and this is going as you see, the velocity of the crate will include the velocity of the ramp, and then I have a relative velocity from the crate respect to the ramp, which will be in that direction. So if I do the kinematics analysis, I know that the velocity of C is a vector, and it will be the velocity of the ramp plus the ve relative velocity, let me write it with a small r so that I make a difference, relative velocity between the crate and the ramp. And here I see that the velocity of the ramp is in negative i, let me put my coordinate system right here, the, the, coordinate, the coordinate system that I will use is x, y, this is very important that we always set up which coordinate system we want to use, and that will be Plus, and as you see, my uh, relative velocity the, the, from the crate to the ramp has an inclination of 30. So I can have that will be equals in the x direction times the cosine of 30, and in the uh, uh, y direction will be times sine of 30. So I can write here times, uh, I said cosine of 30 for i minus sine of 30 for j. Okay, as you see, I have how many unknowns? I have as unknown, I have this and this, so two unknowns. Therefore, I need two equations. What I'm going to use, since I see that there is no forces in, in x direction, I will be use conservation of linear momentum in x direction. So, two equations. My two equations will be one, conservation of linear momentum, and the second equation that I will use, since here I involve displacement and velocity, I will use a, a conservation of energy. As well. Because why can I use conservation of energy? Because since 
they, they, they told me that all the surfaces are smooth, I don't have any uh, friction, therefore I don't have any non-conservative forces in my problem. I apply the first uh, is conservation of linear momentum. And it says that the addition of, of linear momentum in my first position are equals to my linear momentum in the final position. Since the problem says that it starts from rest, all these values are equals to zero because I have no velocity for neither two of those objects. And then I have only the velocities of the crate and the velocity of the ramp. So that will be equals to the mass of the ramp times the velocity of the ramp. It's very important that the conservation of linear momentum, as you see, forces in x are equal to zero. So the forces in x are equal to zero. Therefore, the conservation of linear momentum is in x. Not in y, because as you see, I do have forces in y. So plus my mass of the crate, velocity of the crate in x direction. And that will be equals to zero. And I already know that the uh, velocity of the crate has two terms, and that then I can, I can write this expression will be equals to the mass of the ram, which is negative 40, times the velocity of the ram, which is an unknown, plus the mass of the crate, which is 10, times the velocity of the crate in x direction, which will be negative vr plus velocity of rcr cosine of 30. Cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2. And that's equals to 0. So now I can relate those two, so I got this relation. This relation will be that the velocity of relative velocity of C is equals to 5.77 VR. That's my first expression. So this is my first equation. And the second equation, as I say, will be a conservation of energy. Uh, my conservation of energy says that uh, the uh, kinetic energy in the initial position plus the uh, potential energy in the initial position will be equal to the kinetic energy in the final position plus the uh, potential energy in the final position. The system is start on rest, so the kinetic energy in the initial position is zero. Then it depends where we put our datum to see if the potential energy is zero. So if we put our datum, for example, at B, then we have potential energy in position one. And then here, the same datum for the final position. So this is the initial position. This is the final position, right? Let me call it I as initial. and final, right? And the crate lost all the potential energy, so I have no potential energy at the end. So I can say that this is equals to zero. So the initial uh, potential energy will be mass of that crate. And of course, the ramp doesn't have any change in potential energy because it didn't go up or down, right? So the potential energy will be mass of the crate, gravity, and that height, right? And that will be equals to one half the mass of the ram, velocity of the ram squared plus, remember that the kinetic energy will be the kinetic energy of all components of the system. We have the ram and the crate. So we have the kinetic energy of the ram and the kinetic energy of the crate. Being that, the total velocity. So we have to include all this expression right here, so so that will be equals to, uh, let me write it right here so that I use properly my, my space right here, so that will be 40, and the velocity of the crate is unknown, 
plus one half, then, and here we have the velocity, so we have to put together the I components, will be equals to negative VR plus VCR cosine of 30 squared plus in J we have VCR sine of 30 which is a half squared. So we have to include the two components and we have to square each of the components. As you see here, my I components will be the addition of that one and that one, and my J component has only that one. I can add a negative, value, negative sign over here, but that's square, so it doesn't make any difference. We can a little bit simplify that, so the mass of the K will be 10 times gravity, which will be equals to 9.81, the, the height will be 3.5 times sine of 30 equals to this expression right here. The only unknown that this expression has right here, I will substitute those values so that you see that the only unknown that I have is uh, the velocity of the ramp. So if I write here 20 vr squared plus 5 that multiplies to negative vr plus 5.77 vr square root of 3 over 2 square plus 5.77 half square and vr square. Okay, so solving For velocity of the ramp, I get that is equals to 1.1 meters over second. That's in magnitude. If we want to write that as a vector, that will be equals to negative 1.10 i meters over second. And of course, that allowed us to substitute that value here, and then we find how much is the, the relative velocity, and once we find the relative velocity, we can find the velocity of C. Um, actually, we are not asked to find those velocity, the velocity of the grade, but we, are asked, we were asked to find the velocity of the ramp, which is that solution right here. But once we have that, you see that we can also find the velocity of the grade.